Hello students, this video deals with the halogenation of alkanes. Halogens are the seven group of the periodic table, fluorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine and acetylene. Now let's see what does it mean by halogenation of alkanes. The successive replacement of hydrogen atoms of an alkane by halogen atom in the presence of sunlight or ultraviolet light or high temperature is known as halogenation of alkanes. Now students, the order of reactivity of this group is in the descending order. As you can see, it decreases down the group. The electronegativity also decreases down the group. Fluorine molecule, it is the smallest molecule and it has high reactivity because of its very high charge density. So fluorine, it's the reactive molecule, then chlorine, then bromine, and then iodine. So the order of reactivity is in the descending order. E equals to H nu. E, it's the light energy, that is the quantum energy of photon. Light is made up of photons, that is small packet of energy. And it is directly proportional to nu, which is the frequency of the radiation. H, it is the constant of proportionality, which is the Planck's constant. The halogenation of alkanes has free radical mechanism. Now you must know that it consists of three steps. Step number one is initiation, then propagation, and then termination. If you've seen my previous video, you must know that alkanes are not very reactive molecules. Why? Because they have non-polar bonds and they have sigma bonds, which are very strong bonds. So due to inertness of the sigma bonds and the non-polarity of alkane bonds, alkanes, they are not very reactive. Step one is initiation, that is the starting point. Now in this step, light energy, it is supplied. And what happens is that the chlorine molecule, it is homolytically cleaved. As you can see here, this bond, it breaks in such a way that each of the fragment gets one electron. As you can see here, one electron jumps on this atom and the other on this atom and form two chloride free radicals. Free radicals, they're very high, highly reactive species. So due to these free radicals, the alkanes react. Now this is step number two, propagation. Propagation means to keep going. In this step, the radicals, produce other radicals. As you can see, this is methane molecule and carbon hydrogen bond is broken down homolytically. One of the electron, it meets up with this electron and form hydrochloric acid and the other electron of this bond, it jumps on methyl group and form methyl free radical. Now this methyl free radical, it reacts with the chlorine molecule and breaks down homolytically and one of the electron meets up with this electron to form methyl chloride and chloride free radical is generated. So in this case, chloride radical is forming methyl free radical. And in this case, methyl free radical is forming chloride free radicals. So free radicals are producing more free radicals. So the process is propagating. Now in this case, the methyl chloride, it again reacts with the chloride free radical and the CH bond is homolytically cleaved. And here you see that CH2, Cl free radical is formed and HCl is formed. As you see, this bond is homolytically cleaved and one of the electrons jumps on this carbon and the other electron meets up with this chloride free radical and form hydrochloric acid. Now this free radical, it again reacts with this chlorine molecule and homolytically cleave it down and forms dichloromethane and chloride free radical. So you see two of the hydrogens are replaced by the halogen atom that is the chloride ion. Now you see here, this is the dichloromethane. It reacts with the chloride free radical. And again, the CH bond, it is homolytically cleaved. And one of the electrons jumps on the carbon atom and the other meets up with this chloride free radical to form hydrochloric acid and CHCl2 free radical. And then again, it reacts with this molecule that is chlorine molecule. And you see here, trichloromethane or chloroform is formed and chloride free radical is produced. Now you see that three of the hydrogens, they are replaced by these chloro groups. Now again, this chloroform, it reacts with the chloride free radical and then the last CH bond, it is homolytically cleaved and one of the electron meets up with this free radical and forms hydrochloric acid and the other electron jumps on this carbon molecule to form CCL3 free radical, which again reacts with this chlorine molecule and forms CCL4, which is tetrachloromethane or carbon tetrachloride and a free radical is produced. Now students, the last step is termination, which is the end, terminate. In this step, 
all the free radicals they join together with each other and form non radical forms as you can see these are the end products and they are non radical in nature so the radicals they are converted into non radicals so all the radicals they combine with each other to form different products as you can see these are the chloride radicals they combine together to form chlorine molecule the methyl free radical combine with chloride free radical to form methyl chloride and the methyl free radical combines with the methyl free radical to form ethane as you can see here so these are the end products and this is the termination step so this is the process of the halogenation of alkanes i hope this video was helpful if you like this video please like share comment and subscribe thanks for watching wish you all the best